just watched the Nerds video to Dawa film. So this response is going to be mostly reactionary, and this result is not scripted or even relatively thought about. There's just one thing that I have to comment on, which I found uh, remarkably unsettling. And shockingly, it's not about anything that Thunderfoot had leveled against Dawa Films. It's about Thunderfoot and his representation in the video. Now, my initial issue is, and uh, I should say first, I'm going to steer clear of anything that he said regarding the FBI and Dawa Films uh, trying to get him fired and him not really calling the FBI and Dawa Films. I could honestly care less about he said, she said drama. That portion of it is entirely out of the hands of the rest of us to logically discern. It's their business, whether they did it or not, them screaming at each other over the internet, yelling at us that I did, I didn't do it, is not going to change anything. Uh, it's not going to prove anything. It's just going to convince those who like one over the other that they're telling the truth as a matter of sentiment. But as a matter of, of factuality and evidentiary basis, we can't do shit with it. So toss it aside. And let's deal with the heart of his argument, which it started with, which was that Dawa Film Films, or Ali, threatened him in his previous video. Now, I did a video on this before, but what I'm trying to do here is something completely different. I'm going to play the opening segment of Thunderfoot's video. I'm not going to actually, you're not going to see it. I'm just going to play it in the background. You'll listen to it uh, as it plays. And uh, essentially, I just want you to hear what's said here, and I'll clarify what, if it's not already obvious, Thunderfoot did. Uh, that was generally fucking completely hypocritical uh, and made in generally a lie. The entire opening segment a lie. And really misleading. So here it goes. So there's this Muslim guy who makes the weakestly felt death threats, suggesting that his religion gives him the right to kill people. The claim that even the most reviled hate groups in America tried to stay clear of. But more specifically, after some beating around the bush, he actually comes to the conclusion that his religion gives him the right to specifically kill me. Keep in mind, remember these words, uh, because Thunderfoot's very good with word usage. He picks out words that when you then listen, you will find what you want in Ali's comment to coalesce with what Thunderfoot said. Uh, so he said, he said that he's trying to actively kill, and he emphasizes me as if it's a, a directly veiled, individualized threat. And this is relevant, because what Ali was saying may be very different if you really listen to context. And this is the other confusing portion, that Thunderfoot's trying to make this seem as if it's a very, very well-played contextual comment, granting all understanding so that when you watch this, you don't feel like you've missed anything. Uh, and it's a matter of just blunt dishonesty, as far as I'm concerned. Let's keep going under some contrived circumstances, of course. Oh, and for those who need a refresher, here is the clip in full. In full. Yeah, this is the full quote. There is no effort to mine this, to put it in a false light, in order to change the meaning. Kind this of. is the full quote. Sure. And I'll be frank, the hate and spite in this guy's facial expressions says it all. Just look at the eyes. Thunderfoot. And people who think like you. If you ever, ever try to awaken any sort of sleeping giant that is hostile to any Muslim or non-Muslim innocent person, as mandated in the Quran and the true interpretation of the Sharia that all true Muslims and the majority of the Muslims in the world share, we Muslims the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our non-Muslim allies will send you to the God that you wish you knew. Now, what about this is troubling? Again, if it wasn't already obvious. Uh, if you watched it, and you can, uh, over th while, while saying that he's granting context, he doesn't open with the originally um, processed threat that he had made and not he in any kind of direct manner, the same way I could argue that he made, the way he's arguing Ali made, uh, in his, his previous video, where he basically said that if the Muslims continue to act a certain way, then the powers that be will, sleeping giant, will wake up from, from 
their slumber and realize what's happening and attack or, or take control or essentially put down the threat that is, uh, as far as uh, Thunderbolt's concerned, Islam itself. Now, granted that, keep that in mind because it helps establish uh, precedent for the response. He, he opened his comment with saying that Ali is, look at you, you just see the hate in his eyes. I, I mean, just to be perfectly honest, if uh, when there are videos made about atheists, I saw, and again, I'm part of the group as, as it were, atheists, um, and they're directed in that same way that uh, if we had it, if we had it our way, we would, you know, get rid of all of the atheists, or uh, if atheists don't stop this and this and this, you know, they will end up in hellfire and whatever, essentially a kind of uh, mo removed threat, which is kind of what Thunderfoot did. Uh, I, I mean, I might respond with a mild amount of hostility too, and, and depending on how direct the threat was and how many videos you're constantly making against Islam, or if they were against atheists against atheists, one might find any comment from, from Thunderfoot in this instance to be particularly demeaning and particularly challenging and particularly uh, violent and scary given the, the amount of negativity geared towards that one particular group, it changes the, the, the game and the level of the commentary as far as it should be understood. And as a result, yes, there, there's going to be a bit of hostility in, in a response that's, that opens with at least uh, a half-assed threat. So what continues to happen through this, even after the lack of actual context while Thunderfoot lies and is dishonest and claims that he's giving you full context, uh, is as the video plays, as those segments play, Thunderfoot is dropping keywords on the screen in text. It's subtle, but it does far more than you imagine. If you watch the video with them and without, there's there's a clear differentiation. It's a clear differentiation in our minds that happens. There's a clear, distinct difference in the way it's taken in. Firstly, right at the beginning of the video, when when this is all going on. Thunderfoot uh, writes uh, basically um, as when he says it's you know as men did it in the Quran, what Islams will do based uh, what Muslims will do based on the Quran, and he just highlights these words. And by the way, over the entire course of Ali's commentary, over his right under his face, he has the words a moderate Muslim, already mocking his stance and setting you up to interpret his commentary as anything but. <laughs> these subtleties are 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 far, far, far more effective than one would assume they really are. Because they, uh, even I for a second, and I watch for this nonsense, because it's particularly demeaning and, and dishonest. And even I'm looking at this going, oh, that's a decent point, until you re-listen, until you pay more attention, and you don't just take someone's word for it. To continue, the true Islamic law, and he writes down in yellow letters over Ali's face as he speaks. And this continues uh, straight over into the point where it ends, and then he says that, all that fantasizing so you can all that fantasizing so you can say it's okay for Muslims to kill me. He writes this. He writes just before this that Muslims are going to attack him. Muslims. Now, if you re-listen to Ali's video, I'm not going to play it. But if you re-listen, he more than once and open-endedly emphasizes that it's not Muslims alone. Yes, Muslims are going to use the Quran and it, and it's allowance for self-defense, and he is clearly speaking in self-defense here. There is no question. And I don't know what moral sentiment you hold, Thunderfoot, that doesn't account for self-defense as appropriate. I don't understand anyone who disallows for this. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm more or less, I'm more relative. So I, I, dis, I disregard, you know, my opinion on whether or not it's appropriate to act in self-defense. But, why should the Quran be any less allowing for self-defensive action than any kind of constitutional in uh, interests you find relevant. Uh, there's a constant appeal to, you know, oh, the, the right to life. Uh, and that's, I'd imagine you're a humanist. I don't watch your videos enough that I care, Thunderfoot. But I'd imagine that you find self-defense to be essentially an inherent right. That if someone's trying to kill you, you're allowed to respond with an equal amount of force and take them out. I don't understand why this is a problematic. He's not issuing a threat as an, as an instigator. He's issuing a threat as a defender of his own territory, his own life, his own personhood, his own reality. You're attacking everything about him and what defines him. It's something absolutely dishonest 
and absolutely just a, a vast amount of cognitive dissonance that you would, I'd, I'd assume, and I'm not assuming wrong, I don't think, uh, allow for it in your instance, but when it comes from the Quran, assume that it's a shitty message because the book it comes from you don't like. Good messages can come from bad places. Good people can do bad things on the assumption that it's a bad book. I mean, it's, it's, wildly, it's wildly preposterous that you would act like the, like the hero and the heroine in this whole situation when in reality you're being strictly disingenuous here. Uh, you're being dishonest. You're lying. Uh, again, Muslims are going to attack me. He clearly states that if they're attacked, if any innocent person is attacked, Muslim or non-Muslim, anyone is attacked, then Muslims and their non-Muslim allies will, response with the appro will respond with the appropriate amount of force. This is not that goddamn... It's, it's not even remotely shady. If you watch it, you hear him, and he makes sure to clarify this, I'd imagine because he knew what you were going to do. Anyone could have caught that. That you were going to miscategorize a point of view to further your agenda about the lack of trust towards Muslims or the inability to, you know, for them to act in really morally appropriate ways. It's asinine. It's beyond asinine. This is more worked up than I am in most of my videos. Um, so try to see through the, the slight amount of anger, the vast amount of annoyance, and just recognize the point. And the point is that uh, for everything else to the end of this video, which is goddamn irrelevant as it relates to provability, your opening segment sets your stage. And your stage is just a wild, blinding light of dishonesty.